time management tips for solopreneurs. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I really think there are ways to maximize and leverage your time when you are a solopreneur because you are juggling many, many hats and you want to be as fish efficient as possible in the way that you run your business and your life. So the first thing I would say is really you want to be thinking about batching your content. I am right here now batching my content. So I have spent the day filming YouTube videos. I plan the content, I batch the content, and I plan the content with the help of AI, which is, you know, just really cuts down so much time. So, and now I'm batching the content and I'm literally on the last video and I've, I've lost track of how many videos I've created, but it's a lot. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that I have got video content to last me through the summer. So it means that I can have a video twice, three times a week, plus also a, um, an email to go with that. And so that's my content sorted for the summer. So it means that when I'm with my son, I can be really present with him and I'm not focused on the business. Instead, that's all automated, that's all scheduled. And so it's just a case of, oh, the video went live today, I might share it to social media, but basically I've done the work beforehand. So I'm gonna put the effort in now, so it means that I take the summer off. So that's the first thing, really helping is batching. The second thing that I think really works well is to plan out your goals and your vision for the year. And so in that case, it means like really knowing where the business is going and what the core objectives are over the first, you know, the first 90 days. So if you break the year into 90 days, you've got 90 day chunks. Within that 90 days, what is the key thing you want to do? Is it that you want to have a launch? Is it that you're, you know, creating a new product? Maybe it's both. So you want to be generating revenue and generating leads. How are you gonna do both things? So ask yourself, if, if it's generating revenue, like, what am I selling? So am I gonna be selling something every single month or am I gonna be selling something once in that quarter? Water. and I'm gonna put all my energy into that one big live launch. I like to do a mix of both. So I'll be selling once a month with something that is a kind of no-brainer launch and I do that through email. And then I'll also be doing something where I have a kind of live launch and I'm inviting people to sign up to a training, they get on the wait list and then from that I will, I will then be selling them a product. So that way, things, you know, I, I, I can manage both of my energies. I've got the easier just, you know, selling something by email quietly, and then I'll have a live launch once or twice a year. No more than that, because I can't quite, you know, for me managing everything as a single parent with an autistic son, I have to really balance my family life and my energy really carefully. So once I've gone from having, I've got the big, I've got the big plan for the year, I've got the, the goals for each quarter, then from it within that, I, I'm breaking this down to what have I got to achieve this week? And so, you know, it within within my 30 days, what am I doing? What's that core objective? So it might be that I'm doing like a quiet launch, as I call it. And if you want my easy launch plan, I'll share that below the link, because that means it's, it's a kind of soft, easy launch where it's, it's not the same challenge and stress and everything else. It's just easy. And so it means that because it's easy, it's more simplistic, but your your brain is not going to say, oh, this is too complicated. I can't do this right now. So it means you can, you can do it and stick to it once a month. So you've got a revenue goal and then you can just fo focus on content creation, which of course is the batching. So you can batch your content, whether it's for email, whether it's for YouTube or TikTok, wherever you are, you're batching that content. So you're delivering both the audience and also the revenue because you want to be doing, you know, the more eyeballs you have, the more revenue you can create. So those two things, if you marry those two things up, it can, you know, really drive your audience. And then within my day, I have to be really careful of my day. I basically have four hours of a day in which to work. So in that time, I am very, very focused. I will start my day with meditation and journaling. So I'll literally wake up, I write in my journal, I'll, I'll listen to meditations and I find meditation really helpful. My son wakes up, by this point I'll have a LinkedIn post that's scheduled that goes out, I reply to comments, I'm focused and present with him, getting him dressed, ready for school, take him to school, then I go for a run because otherwise it doesn't happen. So I'm a great believer in making sure that I stack my habits. So school run, 
and I stack a habit which is going for a run. So I go for a run and within that I'm stacking another habit which is then um, my another, other habit is going to do a meditation. So I'll do a meditation out on the run in a field, um, in you know a lovely quiet space and so I've, I've, I've done a meditation. So I'm in a really good space by the time I get back and then I have four hours. I'll quickly get changed, get myself sorted, and then it's four hours to focus on clients, focus on work. And so within those four hours, I am focused because I know 2.30 comes around, I've got to do pickup. So there's a list of things that I need to get done. And, and because I'm working within the Pomodoro method, I'm focused and I really want to deliver. And so if you can batch your content in that way, if you can really focus in on what that goal is, what that objective is, so you stay on track with it, it can really help you with, um, you know, just b being accountable to yourself. And rather than just feeling like, oh, I, what am I doing? And I'm not, you know, I'm not focused. This way makes me focus. And because I've only got four hours, I really have to get it done. There's no, oh, I'll just Google that and faffing around. The time is up and the reason why my batch is running out I'm going to love you and leave you if you enjoyed this video I would love you to subscribe please click on the link below to subscribe and I share loads of tips and strategies to help you with managing your time your productivity in your business hope to see you again soon thanks so much for watching bye bye bye